Ever wondered when you buy red lipstick why it did not suit you or look good on you? Why this shirt looks perfect on the model in the website and not on you? Why this hair color everybody pulls off but when you try to look washed out and old? All of these things are the outcome of not knowing your own color analysis. A series of videos that I've created in order to help you know your style and create a personal capsule closet that really complements you instead of following trends and instead of falling into always the trap of buying things you do not need. It goes like a funnel from a very broad spectrum to a very narrow and the narrower you know which skin tone is yours, the easiest it's going to be when you're checking in stores or online which colors to pick from. So if an item is available in your cut, that is going with your body type, which we talked about in the previous video, and in a color that complements your season or your undertone, then both are going to complement you perfectly. So the very first thing is do the white paper test. Put it next to your face, face the window and take a photo with no makeup on. Another photo to take with the white paper is with the inner part of your arm because usually this area is not hit by the sun. Does your skin look more pinky or more yellow? If it's more yellow, then you're a warm tone. If it's more pinky, then you're a cool tone. Another test to do is the veins test. Look at your veins under sunlight. Take a picture if you cannot see it clearly and look. Does your veins look blue? Does your veins look green? Does your veins look purple? If your veins are green, then you're a warm tone. If they're blue, then you are cool toned. If they're mixed or purple, then you're most probably neutral or olive tone. Olive tone is usually misunderstood to be warm tone because it's more tanned a little bit, but no, it has a greenish grayish undertone to it. Another test is check silver jewelry suits you or gold or both. I'm a cool tone person that mixed metals suit. So I can rock both of them and both of them look good on me, although I'm cool toned, because my percentage of cool toned is not very high. So I'm between cool toned and neutral, which is another thing and I'm going to get to that. If you want to know these questions more or do the tests online, I created on my blog a blog post dedicated to this with the test. So you can go take the test and check for yourself which color do you belong to? Are you warm or are you cool? Now let's get into putting you into a season. There are four seasons. Summer and winter are cool toned people. Spring and autumn are warm toned people. Spring and summer in both, one side is cool, one side is warm, is usually the lighter version. Usually you're very light in color schema, which means your hair balanced, your eye color balanced, your skin color balance is all harmonious. That puts you in either spring or summer. The more there is a contrast in your skin, that puts you either in autumn or in winter. I am winter, as I said, because of the high contrast. And people that I should follow are people like Monica Bellucci, Anna Hathaway. Warm or cool does not mean it's not light, mid-toned or dark. It's usually all these are tones. There is an undertone under that, which is a little bit warm or a little bit cool. Do you get it? So. Don't go into it and say like, ah, I'm probably warm toned because I'm dark toned or I'm a mid tone. It doesn't go like that. And cool tone is light. No. This, these two pictures showing you, one is cool, one is warm, and that would tell you that both of them maybe have the same skin tone, but in different shades. A great thing if till now you cannot fit yourself. I'm going to tell you two apps to download. I have an iPhone, so I'm going to tell you the apps that I'm using on iPhone. One of them is called Eyes on Hue. What you do with Eyes on Hue is you basically open it, you take a picture facing a window. First thing in the morning when you wake up, that's what I did. Without makeup, without anything, put your hair down, wear something neutral and stand in front of a window. Not harsh light, early morning light or dawn light and take a picture. And right away it's gonna tell you which season you are. And once you know the season, you're gonna know whether you're a deep or a clear or a light from that scene. Another app that really, really helped me to know my main undertone in order to know on the color wheel what I should neglect, Instacooler. Instacooler, basically you take a picture and with it, I took a picture of my wrist and I took a picture of my face. And what you do is you point in the app 
on a spot that is very clear of your skin tone. And then this is going to generate a hex number color. If you're a designer, you're gonna understand what that means. A hex number is what is your color value number. So if you're someone who's drawing you, that's the number they would need to create your skin tone. In that, you're gonna find something called RGB. That stands for red, green, and blue in color theory. There is a ratio between these mixed to create your skin tone. See if you're more red than you are warm toned. If you're more blue, then you're cool toned. If you're green, you're usually an olive tone. For me, what was interesting, on my arm, my undertone is gray. On my face, it's pink. So I was super confused, but until that, I understood that gray means I'm a little bit more cool toned neutral. That's why I said, if you're gray, most probably you are cool, but leaning toward neutral. That's why there is a little bit of purple induced in you. And the three colors in gray are balanced. That's why I'm more into neutral. If you know you're cool, then all cool undertone colors will suit you. If you know you're warm, all warm undertone colors will suit you. Hair colors, hair shades for warm and hair shades for cool. There is a shade for you in blush. There is a shade for you for lipstick. There's a lot of blog posts online. Now when you know, just Google it. Say deep winter skin tone hair colors, deep winter skin tone blushes, deep winter skin tone foundations and that would help you so much. I was shocked because I always bought yellow undertone foundation while in fact I needed either a gray based foundation or a pink based one. But I always see it in the tube and I say like, oh my skin is pink, but naturally nobody's skin is actually pink. You need that pink to counter contact between your skin tone and what is going to finish up looking when you apply the foundation on. I hope this video came in handy. Check the blog post, as I said, take the test down below. It will also have all the names of the apps and it's going to also have the apps that are like these apps on iPhone, but on Android so that you can test it for yourself. The next video is going to be the collective one, a step-by-step -step how to identify your style. I hope the next video is going to be collective for you and it will help you understand what exactly you would need to create the best capsule closet and the best style for yourself. Like this video if you like it, comment down below what is your skin season and your skin analysis and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!